In all of our materials, one of the things that we like to recommend to couples combines uh, two pieces of advice and one idea that sort of gets at one of the number one things that couples fail to do that hurts their marriage and one of the number one things that couples often do that hurts their marriage. The thing that people do frequently that hurts their marriage is argue and have conflicts that are damaging and dangerous, where things are said uh, in nasty ways, where people get harsh, where they are not showing care, they're not listening, so where conflict erupts and it's really not handled well. One of the most damaging things for a marriage over time. One of the things that people don't do that damages marriages over time is they don't make time for doing things that are fun, that they really enjoy doing together as a couple. And it can be anything, it doesn't, I mean, it can be a lot of different things, what a couple finds enjoyable. This couple it could be this, for this couple it could be that, it could be outdoorsy, it could be jumping out of airplanes, it could be watching TV shows and that delight when you find that Netflix has five seasons of something you just found that you like together. It could be anything in between. But couples will struggle in their marriage when they're not making time to do those things that they really enjoy doing together just as friends. So the advice is to make time for those great things. Make time for those positive sort of times of connection together. And have this awareness about the two of you that you're trying not to let conflict and issues intrude into those times. So if you know that it's one of those times, you might have really set it aside or you might even just sort of sense in yourself this is one of those moments, this is just really nice, we're just enjoying doing this, and this is kind of like a stupid little thing, but we're just enjoying doing it together. If you know you're in that time, that's like a really bad time to say, oh, by the way, what are we going to do about that visa bill? Oh, I was thinking again about your parents coming over at Thanksgiving, and it just upsets the whole day and the weekend. Okay, those are great things to talk about. Those are things that you want to bring up proactively and talk about when you need to talk about them, but that's not the moment. That's not the time. You need to have things kind of put in their proper place where you set that stuff aside and deal with it in a constructive, proactive way in a time where we're more able to really deal with that and it's not messing up this special stuff. When you're doing the stuff, whatever it is, that's kind of really positive and enjoyable, keep the other stuff out and work together as a couple to have that awareness and agreement that when we're in this mode, we're not letting this mode come in and ruin it.